Welcome to this next video in the playlist on field theory. This video is going to be a short video just to introduce the definition of a separable field extension. Okay, so let's begin. So the definition of a separable field extension then. So we'll have K, which is a field extension of some smaller field, capital F here. And we're going to call this uh, field extension a separable field extension if it obeys two criteria. Okay, so the first criteria, uh, criterion rather, that it must obey is that it must be an algebraic field extension of F. So the larger field K must be an algebraic field extension over F. So I'll just put algebraic over F. Okay, now remember what being an algebraic field extension actually means from earlier videos in the playlist on field theory. It means that all elements of that larger field, capital K, must have some non-zero polynomial in the ring of polynomials over the initial field, capital F, for which they are the roots. So writing this down, for all, let's say, alpha is an element of the larger field, capital K, uh, there must exist, okay, so there exists some polynomial, P of X, which is an element of the ring of polynomials over the initial field, capital F, and it cannot be the zero polynomial, so take out the zero polynomial. Okay, so it's some polynomial that's non-zero, and such that uh, alpha is a root of this polynomial. P of alpha is equal to zero. So when the polynomial is evaluated at alpha using that evaluation homomorphism from the ring of polynomials over the field capital F into the larger field capital K, uh, you get zero. Okay, right. Um, so, um, that's the algebraic over f, that's the first criterion that this field extension must obey in order to be considered a separable field extension. But, we're going to add something on top of that, because of course we're going to add something on top of that, otherwise the, con de the definition will be exactly the same as algebraic over f. Okay, now what we know is if indeed this field extension k is algebraic over f, then for all the elements, all alpha is an element of that field extension capital K, there's going to exist a minimal polynomial for alpha over f. So we've agreed that um, the, in the definition of algebraic it says that there must exist at least one polynomial in the ring of polynomials over the initial field capital F that is non-zero and which has alpha as a root. But we know from the video on algebraic field extensions that the instant that that is true, uh, that um, it's going to be true that there exists this minimal polynomial for alpha over f. Now I'll just remind you of what the minimal polynomial for alpha over f is. So it's denoted like so, min m for minimal, subscript alpha for alpha, and then comma f for over f. So we call this the minimal polynomial for alpha over f. Again, it's an element of the ring of polynomials over the field capital F. And this is the unique monic irreducible polynomial in this ring of polynomials over the field capital F which has alpha as a root and indeed all other polynomials which have alpha as a root are just a multiple of this one i.e. some polynomial in here times this one they're in the principal ideal generated by this one so this p of x here it will be in the principal ideal generated by the minimal polynomial for alpha over f so I'll just put the two things that this obeys. It is a monic polynomial, meaning that the leading coefficient is equal to 1, and it's also an irreducible polynomial. And there is only one such polynomial uh, which satisfies the condition that alpha is a root of it in the ring of polynomials over the field capital F. So we describe the minimal polynomial for alpha over F in one line as the unique monic irreducible polynomial which has alpha as a root in the ring of polynomials over the field capital F. Okay, so, for all of these elements then, in this field extension K of F, which is an algebraic field extension of F, they will have a mon uh, sorry, a minimal polynomial in the ring of polynomials over that initial field, capital F. Now, if this is going to be a separable field extension, we are going to insist that these minimal polynomials for every single element in the larger field, capital K, must be separable. So for all alpha is an element of k, the minimal polynomial for alpha over f, which we know exists because we are assuming that criterion number one here is satisfied, i.e. that k is an algebraic field extension of f, uh, must be separable. 
okay, is separable over f. And of course, we've spent the past vid few videos uh, in this playlist on field theory discussing exactly what it means for a polynomial to be separable over f. Okay, but giving you a brief reminder, it means that if you were to construct the splitting field, uh, which is a field extension of the initial field capital F for this polynomial, this minimal polynomial for alpha over F, you would find that all of the roots for the polynomial in that splitting field were simple roots. Okay, you had no roots which had multiplicity greater than one. Okay, they, there were no repeated roots. That's the definition of a separable polynomial in the ring of polynomials over the field capital F. So if this field extension K is going to be a separable field extension of F, then it must be an algebraic field extension of F, and on top of that, it must be the case that all of these minimal polynomials for all of the elements in the larger field extension uh, must be separable polynomials over the field capital F. Now, I'm only going to make a few more comments on this in this video. This is just meant to be an introductory video, okay? Um, the first comment that I'm going to make is that provided that K is an algebraic field extension of a perfect field, then you can instantly conclude that it's separable. Okay, so if this field here is what we call a perfect field, which we defined in the previous video on this uh, play that in this playlist on field theory, uh, then you can instantly conclude, provided that K is an algebraic field extension of F, that K is a separable field extension of F. Now let me just remind you of what the definition of a perfect field is. A perfect field is a field that either has characteristic equal to zero, so remember there are two criteria that you can obey in order to be a perfect field. You can either have characteristic equal to zero, okay, or you can have characteristic equal to a prime natural number, but then if you do have characteristic equal to a prime natural number, you must have a bijective Frobenius endomorphism which I'll just write as uh, this mapping from the field to itself. Okay, and remember the importance of this definition of a perfect field is that if we're talking about perfect fields, we can conclude that all irreducible polynomials in the ring of polynomials over a perfect field are separable polynomials. That's the great theorem. We called that theorem one in our uh, videos on separable polynomials. If you're working in a ring of polynomials over a perfect field, then you can conclude that all irreducible polynomials in that ring of polynomials over a perfect field are going to be separable polynomials. We know that these minimal polynomials for alpha over f, for an arbitrary alpha in the larger field, capital K, that they are going to be irreducible. So if we're working with a ring of polynomials over a perfect field, uh, then we can instantly say that this is going to be a separable polynomial. If you're not working with a perfect field, if F is an imperfect field or a non-perfect field, then it becomes much more difficult. You cannot conclude that if you've got K, which is an algebraic field extension of F, uh, that it is necessarily going to be separable. Okay, um, and by the way, if a field extension is not separable, of course, it's called inseparable. I should just jot that word down here. So if a field extension is not separable, then we call it inseparable. Okay, so if you're working then with an algebraic field extension of a perfect field, you can instantly conclude that that field extension is a separable field extension. So if you're working with a field extension that is algebraic over a perfect field, and I know I'm repeating myself, you can instantly conclude that it's a separable field extension. And that's very, very helpful. That's an important thing to be able to conclude. And I want to just sort of in these final few uh, minutes give you the intuition, or at least a little bit of intuition, as to to why you, we, you should care about separable field extensions. I'm saying that if we've got an algebraic field extension of a perfect field, we can instantly conclude that all of the minimal polynomials for all of the elements in that field extension are going to be separable polynomials, i.e. that they are going to have distinct roots if you were to build splitting fields for them. Okay, that is an important thing to be able to conclude. So we can now say, for fields of characteristic zero, such as the rationals, the reals, the complex numbers, and 
fields of characteristic P which have a bijective Frobenius endomorphism, such as, for instance, the finite fields. Okay, so all of our favorite fields are included in this category of perfect fields. We can instantly say that if we've got an algebraic field extension of it, then it's separable, and that all of the minimal polynomials for all of the elements in that algebraic field extension are going to be separable polynomials. Okay, and that statement actually becomes extremely useful uh, when we go on to more advanced topics such as Galois theory. Okay, and with that I will end this video.